This is a heartwarming song written by Dick Lee, performed by visually impaired singer Calvin Chen Wei Lian, and released just before Singapore's 48th birthday. One would think Dick Lee has responded to netizens' calls for him to write a National Day song better than this year's One Singapore, which drew criticism for sounding like a nursery rhyme or sing-along preschool song. But it isn't. In an email to Razor TV, the 56-year-old songwriter clarified that Treasure Every Moment has nothing to do with National Day at all. Instead, Dick, who previously wrote Kit Chan's Home and Stephanie Sun's We Will Get There for National Day, said, The song was a request by Wei Lian, and I was inspired by the challenges he's been through. Dick said he started working on the song immediately after he got the request in mid-June, and it was completed and recorded in early August. This year's National Day theme song One Singapore was released on July 17th, a month after he began working on the song. According to a press release by Warner Music Singapore, which represents Calvin, Treasure Every Moment is also a tribute to Singapore. And the Singaporeans whom Razor TV spoke to seem to agree it celebrates life in Singapore. Cherish and be thankful for the sea, the sky and land. I will treasure life. Cozy, yeah, like you know, a family. Yeah, reminds yeah. us about home. Yeah, the Singapore vibe is sounds better than the the rest I've heard this year. I think a lot of people they think that you know, like our local, like our music stuff is like quite bad. But I think songs like this is not like nice. It's very very refreshing. I like it. Yeah, it's very soothing. I think it's very soothing. Uh, very nice to listen to as well. I don't know. It just makes me feel good. Yeah, that was the best part about the song. Huh? Many feel that Treasure Every Moment should be made a National Day song. It has a Mandarin version called Chinsi Mei Yifen Zhong. This is way better. This should be this year National Day song. I don't know what they were singing for this year National Day song. I mean, in comparison, yeah, I think people can relate better to this. I don't know. I just like it more because I feel like the the, the the this year National Day song right there's like the rap. <laughs> I think it's quite weird. Yo, I may look like I'm just a tiny thing. Here I am. I can bravely sing. For sure, I'm gonna give you my everything. Like how I play when the recess bell rings. To me, the official national day song of this year was some very impactful. Like you know, last time when we have home, it was, it was very impactful even until now that people still remember. And I think that the song you just let me hear was quite you know good too. I think this sends sends a message across because by also having this visually impaired singer, I mean by giving him a chance, you know, to actually like showcase our local talents. I mean, even though his he his handicap in his in his own way, and um, I think it's even more meaningful. By you know, adding on to the lyrics of the song. In recent years, National Day songs have come under fire for being unoriginal and uncreative. Singaporeans say a good National Day song has to come from the heart. I think that this year's National Day song, but it tried to incorporate people from all walks of life. To me, it felt like somewhat staged. But the song you just showed me, it was very genuine. And I could feel his emotions. I think such a such a national day song would be better to touch the hearts of the people. I feel that the singers, the individuals, should have a um, all have a story to tell. Yeah, and 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 the, the the singers that you know that are chosen to represent our national day song should also um, should also be equally meaningful as I mean as the songs are. Some feel that we should stick with NDP classics like Count On Me Singapore and We Are Singapore instead of creating new songs year after year. Actually, the old ones is good enough. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the essence of coming up with a National Day song every year, I don't know what's you know, the, the, the rationale behind, right? If, if songs are good in the past and people, uh, you know, the young children, they sing, then just let, let it be, right?